less than 0.1% of the population own more wealth than the bottom 99%. The richest 10% of people in Kenya and on average 23 times more than the poorest 10%. This is how wealth would look like if we divided it equally among all social groups. But in reality, the richest earn over 99% of all the wealth in the country. The number of super rich in Kenya is one of the fastest growing in the world. So, what are some of the reasons for this income and wealth inequalities? Well, some of it can be traced to government policies, tax evasion, corruption, and tax avoidance, which are undermining Kenya's tax base. For instance, Kenya is losing 140 billion Kenya shillings a year to tax exemptions and incentives. Almost half what the government spends on its entire health budget in the financial year 2022-2023. An equal access to opportunities, such as healthcare and education, is rife. Nearly 1 million primary school-aged children are still out of school. Despite some improvements in health status over the last decade, the government spends only 6% of its budget on health. A quarter of the Kenyan population regularly lack access to health care. Economic policy is not only creating extreme inequality, but also holding back women's economic empowerment. So, what can we do about it? To begin with, the international community can provide a debt cancellation to Kenya to reduce debt servicing to low levels and ensure there's additional funding for universal health care, education, and social protection. We could also introduce a permanent wealth tax, increase taxes on the richest, and reduce harmful tax exemptions and incentives for large companies. This will help the country increase its revenue. Thirdly, we should scale up on spending on free public education, aiming for 20% of the budget and 15% for health in the total spending. Kenya should also provide universal social protection and other forms of government support. Extreme inequality is not inevitable, it is a matter of political choice.